Buenos días. ¿Qué tal? Uh, thank you for everybody to uh, coming our uh, workshop session. Um, I'm uh, Mikko Ohtama, a co-founder of uh, a Trading Strategy. And we are uh, uh, a protocol for uh, algorithmic trading on uh, decentralized exchanges. And here we also have uh, our own other co-founder, Mr. Uh, Temu Sovisto. And uh, if you have any questions uh, afterwards, he's, he's the guy who is doing all of our uh, business development. All I can do is a Python code, so he takes care of all of the rest. And uh, first, uh, let's talk about uh, uh, trading a little bit. So is there uh, anybody in the audience who doesn't know what uh, algorithmic trading is yet? So please raise your hands. Okay, you are all experts. Maybe, maybe uh, I can go home now. <laughs> so, uh, algorithmic trading or uh, algo trading for short is is uh, uh, a form of trading where the machine is making all the decisions. So it's basically fully automated or at least uh, semi-automated, like uh, old banks are still doing with uh, with uh, scripts and uh, Excel sheets. So it's it's half automated. There's always a lady old lady typing the numbers with the typing machine somewhere. But it can be also super fast, like uh, high frequency trading, where uh, latencies are uh, under one mi microsecond on the stock markets nowadays. And it's uh, the domain of uh, Citadel and uh, BlackRock and the Renaissance and all of those guys who are making uh, shit tons of money. And uh, most of the trading in the, in, the, in the public market is algo trading. So if you look the statistics there, uh, it's for, uh, from the economic, and I think the other one is from a Goldman Sachs. You can see that the share of the automated trading from all trading is, is going up all the time. And the reason is very simple, because machines are just better than humans. Like they, are, they don't have emotions, they just go and uh, shoot and uh, they can work 24-7. And uh, we are a, a DeFi company, and uh, uh, if anybody has ever tried to uh, trade on DeFi, you have opened your uh, MetaMask or uh, Avalanche Core wallet, and you go to your crappy swap website and hope that it works, you know that it's not very... Uh, professional yet. It's very uh, ad hoc and the uh, reason for that is that uh, DeFi trading has very short histories. So, like the whole concept has practically exist since 2020 summer. And uh, our company's mission is to bring this kind of a pro trading tools to DeFi, which usually means uh, more automation, more uh, risk management and a more uh, analysis so that the people who are doing doing trading they, they would not get wrecked so basically there's uh, some kind of uh, idea that when you are about to press the button you know what's going to happen and what what are your chances that it actually the number goes up and how we accomplish there this as a trading strategy is that we are providing uh, four pieces to the puzzle so the first one is the market data so we, if you are Trading on uh, technical analysis of price action, you need to know what the price was before and what is likely to be, be uh, in the next uh, phase. And uh, usually on, uh, on a TradFi markets, you have tools like a trading view where you can go and see, okay, this is the, how the price has been going up and down in the past. But for DeFi, uh, we are doing it ourselves. So we are, we are the source of the market data and we have uh, like two and a half terabytes of market data. You can download on your, on your computer and uh, see how it how it opens. The other one is the developing the tools for traders. So if you are going to automate something, you need to have a tool to automate it. So we have a, what's called a backtesting framework where you have a Python scripts where you can write like, okay, on these conditions, you are going to buy. On these conditions, you are going to sell. And it can, it, that's very simple, but it can be super complicated as well. Like it says that uh, here are 7,000 different assets what I should buy today. 
and then the machine learning will tell you that these are the tokens that are going to go up. And today is going to be a uh, AVAX. Uh, then we provide also a trade execution, so how the actual trade happens. And as I said, it's in DeFi, it's a little bit complicated. On uh, traditional markets, you have an API where you can say, buy this token, and then it just happens somewhere there. And uh, it settled three, three, three days later, money has gone from your bank account. But on DeFi, it, it's much more uh, complicated because the exchanges are direct to investors. There are no uh, consumer protections and so on. So you can, you need to go there and integrate it yourself. And uh, we provide whatever tools you need for that. It's basically uh, uh, Docker containers, oracles, uh, smart contracts, and so on that you can uh, automate your trade execution easily. And the fourth piece is the fund, funds management. So if you uh, you can easily trade for your own capital, but let's say that you are very successful. So soon your friends will ask like, hey, how can I give you money? How can I, how can you trade my money? And then managing the money of other people, you can do it uh, today on, on chain. So there are multiple protocols for that. That's called like uh, digital asset management protocols. Most famous and oldest one is uh, Enzyme. Then you have uh, D-Heads from Australia. Uh, you have a, uh, Aspis, you have uh, Velvet Finance, and a lot of these kind of vault protocols are now popping up. I mean, the DeFi markets are getting uh, more liquidity, more comp complex, and there are more stuff to trade, and people want to trade. And institutional are coming, so they want to have more tools, more security, and so on, to make sure that their their money is not is not gone gone there. And uh, as a, com as a protocol trading strategy, we are not the market maker. Or we, are do we are not doing high frequency trading. We are not doing uh, uh, market making for your token. So what we are focusing on is, is this kind of uh, old uh, stock market and a centralized exchange-based trading strategies that are usually market takers. So you, your, your goal is to uh, buy low and sell high. And that's the all only thing you need to do. And your success rate needs to be more than 51% and you are, you are making money. And uh, uh, there exist very simple tools like our data based on technical indicators, or you can do very complex stuff like uh, AI and machine learning to analyze the markets and try to find the signals on the tokens that you think have a statistical chance to go up. And uh, most of the times you, you might be incorrect, but it, it, it's enough that you, uh, you win some bets and you win th those big, and that's how you uh, are profitable. And uh, as I said, we have a Python-based backtesting and live execution engine ready to go today. Uh, we have a, a lot of data on our website already, so you can download it. Uh, we offer it for free. You. Uh, we have uh, 1.5 million trading pairs, mostly uh, all the shit coins in the world. So we we professionally call them uh, small cap tokens. And. Uh, Uh, we are also offering uh, not just like uh, trading on DEXs, but we are offering uh, lending protocols like Aave, and uh, you can use these uh, lending protocols to build short positions. So on, on a centralized exchange, you go to a, what's usually called a, a perpetual swap. So you go take a leverage, and it goes like 10x or up or 10x down. But that's uh, usually very uh, uh, capital inefficient way to do it because you are paying very high. Uh, fee for maintaining your position as is in a form of interest. And uh, using these uh, DeFi lending protocols like uh, Aave, Compound, and uh, Euler, uh, building uh, leverage positions is much more capital efficient because the fees will be lower, lower which means you are going to make more trade, uh, money on your trades. Uh, we are offering a set of technical indicators out of the box. There's like uh, 150 of them. You can use any Python library with our stuff. So you can just go there and uh, everything is like works out of the box. And uh, two ways, uh, if you want to do alcohol trading, two ways for you to make money is, is what the first one is called uh, a proprietary trader or a private trader that you are just trading your own money. But as I said uh, earlier, we are also offering this kind of uh, open strategies that you can accept. Uh, traders or investors from uh, uh, other people and you can that way you can 
collect more capital for trading strategy and then you can uh, monetize it through uh, success fees or uh, uh, management fees. And uh, it depends which one you want to do. So uh, if you are a hedge fund or if you are uh, uh, already wealthy, you probably want to trade your own capital and you don't want to disclose your strategies so you can, they can stay, stay private. But if you are a young guy, if you come from um, uh, developing nations, you are very good in math. Let's say that you, you, you come from an Indian university and you are very good in math and you know how to trade, but you don't have capital, then you can open your strategy and other people can give you the money and uh, you, can, you can profit together. And now I will show you how it works. So giving the like a uh, uh, preview. So what in this workshop uh, uh, we saw for you is that uh, we have an existing uh, uh, trading strategy. Uh, it's on the most popular platform on the world called uh, tradingview.com. And uh, here you can see the uh, price action of AVAX token that has been on a Coinbase uh, since uh, October 21 and it goes all the way to the around October uh, 22. So we have a one year of history for the backtesting. And uh, wait, it's not here. All right, maybe I need to go to my editor. And uh, you know, on a trading view, you are using a, a programming language called PineScript, which is specialized for trading. So you are you are defining a different kind of indicators. And uh, in this uh, strategy, uh, there are two two main indicators. One is called uh, RSI or relative strength index, which tells you uh, how how uh, good the market looks like. Is it going? Is it overbought or oversold? And the other one is called um, uh, Poly Pollinger bands. So it's basically the moving average of the price, and then you have an upper and lower band over that average. And uh, based on these two. Uh, things you can calculate from the price, you can even calculate it yourself. The, the rule of the trade here is that uh, if the price, uh, the closing price crosses the upper Bollinger Band and the RSC is, is uh, over some threshold, then we buy. And uh, if the price goes to uh, below the moving average, then we close our existing position we sell and based on this kind of uh, very simple rules we, our uh, hypothesis on the market is that there are a lot of uh, what's called uh, breakouts so that the uh, uh, price starts to go up so it crosses the upper Bollinger band and then it just goes up and up and up until it settles down to a new level and the trick is to hunt those hunt those break break uh, uh, breakouts so that you can you can uh, utilize the momentum so you buy it when it's about to start to go up and when it reaches the level you sell. And uh, then we have our own own framework so that that's from the uh, uh, trading view. And uh, in a, in a Python world we use a, a tool called uh, Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, for doing all kind of data research. Is there uh, anybody in the audience who have ever used Jupyter Notebooks? Please raise your hands. All right. I like Python people. They are the best people in the world. <laughs> After the Avalanche people. <laughs> so uh, Python, Python, uh, Python Notebooks is the tool we are using. And the, this is the Python code we are doing here. So it, it defines like uh, the uh, candles we are trading, we are doing a four hour candles. Then we have a conditions like what kind of stop losses we are doing. We give it uh, the trading pair. We are here, we are using uh, uh, AVA USDC pair that's trading on a trader show. That's one of the most popular uh, DEXs on Avalanche. We give it the 5,000 cash to start with. Uh, we, we tell that it can uh, use 50% of your cash for its, its buy and sell. And then we give the parameters for the 
uh, Bollinger bands and uh, relative strength index. And then we give it a, a period of the start and end, end when to a backtest, and then what stop loss to use. And then we have a Python code, but here basically there's in the end after this all kind of uh, setup and uh, ceremony, uh, you end up with the same uh, code that you would have in a Pine script. So uh, ask uh, for uh, ask 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 the framework to ca calculate the polynomial bands for you, uh, upper, lower. A middle, and here is the same logic. So if there's no position open, if we cross the upper band and the market is strong enough, then open a position. And uh, if we are going down of the moving average, then close the position again. And then we have uh, some, co co some kind of uh, visualization. So how we want to uh, visualize these technical indicators in our backtest. And I don't run this now because I'm I'm uh, unsure about the internet, but I have already run it. So it, it was running here and it completed the backtest in uh, uh, four seconds. That's uh, pretty fast. And uh, then we can analyze based on the results. We have uh, this kind of massive uh, data dump coming out. This is all the trades. We can analyze, okay, what, what's actually happened here? And let's start with the good parts. So here is uh, what... Uh, we call a benchmark. So, okay, you have a trading strategy and you, you need to know how good it is. And here we are benchmarking our strategy to the, just by uh, uh, holding cash. So what if, what if all of your money would have been in the USDC or if you would put all of your money to a buying and holding Avalanche token. And here the dark green is our strategy and the light green is uh, buy and hold Avalanche token. And you can see that uh, last year is, it was not a very good uh, time to uh, hold Avalanche token. So our strategy, even if, if, if it was a uh, uh, bear market going down, it managed to, uh, first, it, it managed to reserve the cash. It was not making losses, which is the r first rule of uh, trading that don't lose the money. And the second rule is that hope, hope that you can make some profit. And it made a tiny profit here. And... Uh, here you can see the. Uh, let me see if I can put that down. down. Here you can see uh, the technical uh, visualization. So uh, the green spots are uh, where we had a profitable position, and the red red spots are where we lost money. So that you can see that we had a couple of the green ones where it was so longer. So here we can see that we were open for uh, uh, three days. So we managed to capture this uh, short uh, upward trend. And you can see that this indicator is the relative strength index. So you can see that uh, this is our threshold in uh, 60. So when we peak up, we open the position and we hold it and then uh, exit it for the profit. But we had also, uh, if, if we go to the individual trades, we can see that we made a lot of like uh, small trades that uh, lost a uh, little bit money. So you can see that the loss is around 2%. That's what's the stop loss value. So there were, there were a lot of uh, what we call false breakouts. So it looks like it starts to go up, but it didn't. It actually started to go down. And there where we uh, manage our risk with uh, stop loss that never lose than more than 2% uh, of your capital on uh, its, uh, its position. And then we have a lot of, lot of all kind of other stats you can, uh, uh, and the diagrams you can uh, do to analyze your strategy. So, um, you can see a uh, different uh, best day, weekly, monthly, year. Uh, you can see what were the best months. Uh, you can see what was the equity curve and drawdown, like uh, what's the ma maximum amount of money you would have lost if you ha had been trading, and it's around a minus 5%, which is okay. It's, it's not very good. And it, there you can see how much we made profit, and here we can see the the spikes here is, is the uh, uh, it, it happens because it, uh, it, it's not closing the position uh, right at the middle. It starts to go down and it closes and it then uh, settles on a new level. And it's not it's not very good strategy. It's just for the example. It's like a five lines of uh, Python code, and we have a better examples uh, in the same uh, repo. You can look, and then we have. Uh, 
all kind of statistics you, you we calculate out of this. So it says this is the money at the start, this is the money at the end, this is the trading volume. So if we have uh, any DEXs in the audience, this kind of strategies take generate tons of trading volume and it's market taker volume, so it's good for everybody. You can see uh, all kind of success rates and uh, what else we have, uh, all kind of uh, hedge fund risk metrics you can uh, analyze this strategy against other kind of uh, uh, trading or investments. And uh, we have uh, all, all of the uh, code we have here is, is an open source, so it's on a GitHub. So if you are interested of this kind of stuff, you can go to the GitHub repo. And basically it's a Python, so if you know how to uh, run a Jupyter notebook, you can run this code on your local computer and you can repeat the results and you can even start trading. So uh, that's there. Uh, we have also a Discord community, so we have a couple of algo traders and ourselves that who, who can help you to get started. And on the GitHub repo, you, you find more advanced examples of this kind of strategies. So we, we have uh, strategies that trade multiple pairs, we have uh, grid search that tries to find optimal parameters. We use different time frames, like a one hour, one day, four hours, and you can see how these kind of uh, tweaks, how they affect the profit and so on. And uh, that's it. And now we have uh, tons of time for the questions. So uh, yeah, uh, there's a microphone, so you can. Um. What type of indicators are, are available for all the all the TAs uh, on your repo? Is it only the Bollinger Band or uh, we we have we well uh, basically we have a, a everything in the world. That's the short answer. So we have uh, more than 150, and we are using a two Python packages called uh, Pandas TA, and the other one is TA Lip. So you can you can find any any indicator ever in, invented. So basically, it's possible to tailor-made what any type of, strate of strategy using this. Yes. Great. Thanks. Okay. Next question. Yes. Sir. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Um, the code is open source on GitHub. Um, if we are building a DeFi protocol that we think is useful, can we make a PR ourselves to add it to the possible uh, underlying protocols to use to, for instance, long or short certain uh, assets? Yes. And uh, to clarify the question, so our business model is, is a, uh, a profit share. So uh, no matter if you are running uh, proprietary strategies or open strategies, uh, we try to make the fees on a profit share. Yeah, it, it was not really on the strategies, yeah. but you mentioned, for instance, that you can use Ava or earlier to short. Um, if we also build a DeFi protocol ourselves uh, that we think can be useful to long or short certain assets in a better way than Ava, let's say. Yeah. Um, can we also... We, we, yeah, we, we just integrate your stuff. And uh, how, how it works is that... Uh, for the uh, low-level integration, how we interact with uh, different protocols, we have a Python package that has a very, uh, very boring name, Web3 Ethereum DeFi. It explains what it does, and it has uh, integrations for different protocols. So it g gives you the high level of uh, Python primitives you can use to uh, interact, and then you can use those in your strategies. Hello, uh, Seventh Zone from Vector. Mm. Uh, this, the presentation has been very, very great. I really like the trading view, view and the technical indicators. Uh, my question is that you talked about the community where you try to have multiple people uh, uh, sharing uh, strategies, mm. trying to build upon the examples such as uh, what you showed yeah. with the Python example. My main question is how successful are people in the sense that technical analysis can be sometimes a bit messy uh, time series analysis in the fields of uh, in the field of AI, especially for, tr for everything trading related, is 
uh, more or less effective? Uh, does it, uh, is it still effective in the crypto in the sense that the market is less effective than for, for instance, uh, trading action uh, and such? Or is it only the one who will develop the more advanced strategy who will earn from uh, this kind of strategy? Yeah, so, so the, if, if I understand the question correctly, it's like if, if the strategies work and is the mar market inefficient? Yeah. Yes, and, e and if so, are, uh, are the effective strategies only the, the more advanced ones or are people making profit even with Bollinger, uh, Band? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, the short answer is that uh, uh, I would say it's quite easy to make money. So even, even the simplest tricks work. And the uh, other reason for it is that uh, if we go to... Uh, uh, here uh, on readme, we compare uh, our uh, traded show to a Coinbase, which was based on uh, uh, trading view. Uh, the t trick is that uh, these strategies are very sensitive to fi trading fees. And uh, Coinbase taker fee is uh, 0.5%, and the trader show is 0.2. So trader show is like uh, two and a half times cheaper, which means that the you are making tons of more profit trading on DEXs and you don't need to be that good because the fees are so low that you can make money even even your eyes closed. Okay, thanks. Yeah, more questions? There's one in the front. Thanks for a very informative speech. And uh, hey, so uh, does the model uh, also like calculate uh, the risk of like leverage? Or, like, what if it's like a hundred x leverage, and and how how can it exit? Like you know, even when when you do like stop loss at like two percent, yeah, it still go over two percent, right? Yeah, yeah, that that's correct. So uh, there is the uh, what what's uh, how how it works is that the uh, Dexes, they don't have a native stop loss order. So we are actually executing the stop loss ourselves. So we are monitoring the price. And when the price dips below the certain uh, uh, level, we try to close the position as, as soon as possible. So we run to the blockchain and like transaction, 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 9999 gas, hope it closes. And that's, that's how it works for uh, centralized exchanges as well. And it's usually the execution is always worse than the theoretical value because the market moves faster than your transaction. But we are still kind of, I would say, we can, we can, we can stay within the tolerance. And it, it all, as you said, comes to the risk profile. Like uh, uh, if, you are, if you are trading very high leverage positions, uh, you are probably doing with uh, very small amount of capital so that even if it's completely wiped out, you don't, you don't worry about that. And that's what uh, uh, professional traders are o also doing on a crypto exchanges because they don't trust Binance. So they are trading on a leverage uh, with a small amount of money so that even if the exchange goes kaput, they only lose whatever capital there's in deposits. Okay, thanks. Hello, uh, we are from Five Block from Vietnam. And I have a question, how you compare to uh, Hummingbot? You are familiar with that? Yes, I'm. I'm uh, very familiar with the Hummingbot, and uh, uh, the Hummingbot has been uh, designed for uh, market making. So Hummingbot is mostly a, a high frequency strategy. So they are now adding some uh, directional or slow slow strategies as well. But it ha it has been originally designed for market making, and uh, we are more for market taker kind of strategies. So we are trading against those people who are running Hummingbots. So can we build different gateway, like different decks, different chain on uh, with yours? Yes, yes. And uh, uh, we are like a native, native uh, na DEX native, so we don't need to ga gateway. So this Python package is directly uh, interacting with the smart contracts. So there's nothing between uh, strategy and the, and the blockchain. So it's like uh, very direct. Okay, thank you very much. I realize I've missed 
quite a bit because I arrive in the middle. Well, why arbitrage are not supported? Uh, uh, we we could support it, so we can we can support it, but it's just like uh, we don't want to because most of the uh, arbitrage is done by a uh, Mev bots today, and we are not in that business. So uh, we are we are uh, uh, choosing to go for different direction because I think it's healthier for the markets and. Uh, you need to bring some kind of market taker volume as well. It can't just can't be your LPs and your arbitrage bots on the dexes. All right, I think we are done with the time. So uh, thank you for your time, and it was a pleasure to see you here. <laughs>